بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر فرینڈس ٹوڈے ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گانا ٹاک اباؤٹ فار بلڈنگ کنسٹرکشن ایز یو نو وی ہیو ٹو ٹائپس آف بلڈنگ کنسٹرکشن اینڈ سول انجینئرنگ دا فسٹ ون از فریم اسٹرکچر دا سیکنڈ ون از لوڈ بیئرنگ اسٹرکچر سو ہیئر ایز اے کوشچن وچ ون از بیسٹ فار بلڈنگ فریم اسٹرکچر اور لوڈ بیئرنگ سو ٹوڈے ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول ٹیل یو دا مین ڈفرینس بٹوین لوڈ بیئرنگ اسٹرکچر اینڈ فریم اسٹرکچر اباؤٹ اٹس اسٹرینتھ اباؤٹ اٹس مٹیریل اباؤٹ اٹس کاسٹ اباؤٹ اباؤٹ اٹس ٹائم اباؤٹ اٹس کمپوننٹس ایٹسیٹرا سو آل اباؤٹ آئی ول ٹیل یو ان دس ویڈیو فار فریم اسٹرکچر اینڈ لوڈ بیئرنگ اسٹرکچر سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ایف دس ویڈیو از ہیلپ فل فار یو سو مسٹ لائک دا ویڈیو اینڈ سبسکرائب دا چینل وتھ پریس بیل آئکن ایف یو آر نیو آن دس یوٹیوب چینل فسٹ آف آل آئی ول ڈیفائن فریم اسٹرکچر دین load bearing structure after that i will tell you about its components then about its height about its material about its labor cost or labor requirement right so let's start first one is definition for frame structure then for load bearing structure a frame structure is a structure having the combination of structural components that is beam column and slab connected together to resist the gravity and different lateral loads and these structures are generally used to overcome for the large force so frame structure are designed for large forces not for small forces right and also moments uh, developing due to applied load right so this is the simple definition for frame structure now definition of load bearing structure load bearing structure is a structure in which the load of the roof as well as lateral loads are borne by walls borne by walls walls construct from brick masonry and load bearing walls in this construction okay and through walls they are transferred to the lower floor and eventually to foundation so this is the definition for load bearing structure now come to its components first one is frame structure okay so frame structure consists of beam column and slab just three th things are present here frame structures frame structure building are consist of column beam and slab right now load bearing structure load bearing structure consists of heavy masonry wall this is from masonry wall so here we don't have and we don't construct column beam and slab okay so load load bearing structure consists of heavy masonry wall of brick or stone that support the entire structure okay so these are components for load bearing structure and also for frame structure now come to its the third uh, step is load transfer path the first one is frame structure okay so in frame structure vertical load transfer path is from slab or floor to beam so here load transfer from slab or from roof to beam then beam to column then column to footing and then to sile or foundation okay but here in load bearing structure in load bearing structure the vertical load transfer path is from slab or floor to wall and wall to footing because there isn't any beam or column right so this is the third step about its load transfer path now about its height of structure frame structure so frame structure is mul uh, designed for multi story building of any heights so any heights you can take in frame structure can be constructed any heights can be constructed okay according to r chirley author of building construction handbook okay he wrote these buildings are usually designed for office hotel residential apartment and contain the means of vertical circulation in the form of stairs and lifts occupying up to 20% of floor area you can take its height okay but for load bearing structure 
limited story building can only be constructed okay and this uh, for load bearing structure uh, so far building up to six story have gone up in many countries even 14 story have been built only with masonry okay so you can't take more height in load bearing but in frame structure you can take any height for your building or for your project right because uh, load bearing is designed from or uh, construct from brick masonry or from other types of uh, stone but uh, we can't use their brick masonry there is uh, in frame structure column beam and slab right now come to it resistant to earthquake resistant to earthquake the five number step is resistant to earthquake so for frame structure frame structure is more resistant to earthquake but load bearing structure has limitation to resist the earthquake okay so uh, it is uh, for low rise building you can't use for the high forces now six step is thickness of the wall for load bearing structure and also for frame structure so in frame structure all the walls are thinner walls are thinner in frame structure but in load bearing that is the walls are thicker than frame structure okay so simply i can tell you in frame structure the walls are thinner but in load bearing the walls are thicker right now come to its uh, seven step that is carpet area so in frame structure and this type of structure more carpet area is available as well are thinner but in load bearing structure carpet area in these types of structure less carpet area are available as well as the thicker and hence carpet area efficiency of planning is less okay so carpet area is less and load bearing but in frame structure the carpet area is more now the eighth step is popularity so frame structure frame structure is most used form of construction most use of construction but load bearing not popularity use form of construction at present time so and most construction is designed from the frame structure not from the load bearing structure now the ninth step is excavation required so frame structure uh, excavation for frame structure excavation for this type of construction is less so for frame structure excavation is less but for for load bearing construction excavation need more okay more excavation required for load bearing construction 10 step is labor required so frame structure need less labor and for load bearing we need more labors okay now speed of construction 11 step is so frame structure speed of construction is more but for load bearing structure speed of construction is less okay material require uh, requirement for load bearing so frame structure uh, sorry for frame structure then load bearing frame structure is less material intensive and for load bearing it is more material intensive hence dead load is also more dead load is also more in load bearing construction now 13 step is repair cost for frame structure cost of repair of frame structure is more cost of repair cost of repair is more for frame structure okay but cost of repair is uh, load bearing structure cost of repair is low because there isn't any beam column okay so low cost of uh, repair are required for load bearing but for frame we required more cost for repairing right 14 step 
life of structure so for frame structure life is reduced if not done with proper technique the frame structure life is less if you don't provide all the facilities or life reduce if not done with proper techniques frame structure and specification are not strictly followed so it will make problem but in load bearing life is not much affected even even through all standard are not strictly followed if you don't follow all uh, all important points in all facilities in load bearing so it doesn't affect it its strength or its life okay so worker required for uh, step number 15 is worker required for construction so for frame structure only skilled worker are needed for its construction so we require skilled labor for frame structure but for uh, load bearing structure uh, unskillful uh, you can use for building construction so guys these are very helpful uh, and important points which i have discussed especially for load bearing and also for frame structure because uh, there were more students they were asking about this topic so i hope uh, your concept is clear now about frame structure and load bearing structure so guys if